Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. We are now in episode two of three of my third anniversary Overwatch special. I told you guys last episode I was going to go over all post-launch heroes from my least favorite to my top favorite. Which I said all of it are based on personal opinions. Last episode, I went over my bottom three. This time, we're going to cover the middle three of my favorites. Number six is Sombra. Sombra! The first of my middle favorites that I'm going to be going over. Sombra! She is a hacker in this in this game. And could kind of ruin your day if you're not careful. Anyways, first off, before I go over her hack ability, she has her machine pistols, which, if she's pretty close to you, and with that minimum spread, that thing can hurt and can kind of shred tanks as well. Now to her hack ability, it takes 0.65 seconds to, ca to be casted, and it has a 15 meter range. Pretty long range if you ask me. She can hack enemies, which temporarily stops them from even using their abilities, or hack first aid kits so they spawn faster and, get this, reduce the cooldown time of hack in half. So basically, if, you're ha if you hack someone, you could ruin their day, like I said before, and even prevent your opponents from even being able to heal, especially if both their healers are down. She also has her stealth, which gives her a 50% movement speed increase. And that she goes invisible. Attacking. Attacking her or if she takes damage. Her invisibility gets disabled. And here's a downside. You cannot capture objectives while you are invisible. Although you used to be able to do that back in the day. But gotta compensate. Also she can also be detected when an Infrasites is enabled. And also, Sombra has a translocator, which was mostly used near health packs, which I have observed. So when you're about to die, you just translocate, escape, and grab the health pack, and get back in the fight. And her passive ability opportunist, she can see enemy health bars when they have taken damage, and she can even see enemies through walls when, she, when her opponents are less than 50%, which begs the term, you can run, but you can't hide. And her ultimate ability is EMP, which I think can go through objects. Anybody that's within a 15 minute meter radius is gonna get hacked. Yeah, so there's pretty much that pretty self-explanatory which EMP can be really useful for your teammates to score a bunch of kills or score a bunch of kills with their alts as well honestly Sombra she can be pretty good although she does have her exploits that she can be exploited but all in all she can be pretty good if in the right hands Number five, and at the very middle of my favorites, Orisa. Orisa! She is an Omnic that was rebuilt from parts after the incident in Nubani, courtesy of Doomfist. Anyways, Orisa. She is a, she is a pretty good tank, and throughout her history, it's been iffy, but thanks to a number of buffs, in recent patches she has gotten even better honestly you could do worse she has a fusion driver which which she slows down when she uses it but it can do some pretty good damage if you can hit him just keep in mind her guns do not have hit scan and it takes one of the longest times 
to reload. Which, I don't get why that is, but then again, she has 150 clips, or 150 ammo in her clip, or rounds, I should say, per clip. So, anyways. Her, move, her, her other offensive capability, Halt, can be used to pull your opponents back towards her, or away from her, or, my favorite part, to their demise. I mean, like, to a pit of death. Or even down a cliff. Gotta experiment with that. That can be hard to pull off though, but hey. If you can get it, it's well worth it. Her fortify allows her to take less damage as well as being immune to stuns like Brigitte's Shield Bash or Reinhardt's Spin. Or should I should say Charge or Roadhog's Hook. Hell, she's even immune to being frozen by me or immune to being held by the Graviton Surge, courtesy of Fazaria. This is something you would definitely want to use when you're about, when you're about to be fired at. And, she, and then uh, her protective barrier she can place anywhere, and it, it is stationary and has a pretty big range, which only has an eight second cooldown, so once it goes down, you can even, you can most likely put another one down. And then her final kit is her supercharger, which should be used when your whole team is with you and if you want to get ready to get some good kills in that thing can be destroyed however so keep that in mind however the supercharger does grant 50 percent damage increase to heroes within a 25 meter radius but yeah so yeah best to be used when when it's behind a barrier in all honesty, Arisa is pr is a pretty good tank, given in given the right hands. Yeah, she could she could actually be very good, depending on the situation. I actually like I actually like her more than most people do, especially when you need a shield tank that can move around and not have to hold a shield constantly like Reinhardt. Number four, and concluding my episode for middle favorite heroes, Ash, the leader of the Deadlock Gang. Ash. This is what I, this one I like to consider to be a pretty good range hero if you can if you have the accuracy. Her weapon, known as the Viper, can be fired either from the hip or you can scope it. Here's a major difference. When you're firing from the hip, you can fire pretty quickly and you can do some pretty decent damage. Like you can do four shots per second, which it is like, just like every, just like most of the other weapons, it is subject to fall off damage. But if you can scope down with your weapon, the damage more than, little more than doubles. However, the shots per second goes down to 1.4, so keep that in mind. If you're up close, I recommend going hip fire, but if you're pretty far away, I would recommend going for a scope shot. She has another gun as well, which is the coached gun, which can do some knockback. So if you want to use that, you probably use that to keep opponents away, or knock them to their deaths. <laughs> I like I like doing that to knock people to their deaths. I've done that a few times before and gotten play the game with it. So yeah, experiment with it. You could put that in some very good use. The di her dynamites can inflict fire damage to those that are close to the fire like five meters and they burn the opponents for five seconds however keep in mind that it takes two seconds to ignite so that gives them time but you can detonate immediately if you can shoot at it which the dynamite does kind of have a small hurt box to it so you'll have to be really accurate if you want to 
definitely fire it off immediately, especially if it's still in the air. But hey, you enjoy wanting to see your opponents burn and then be able to finish them off more quickly? Yeah. But, arguably the best, one of the best alts in the game. Her Omnic servant, or butler, I should say, Bob. This guy acts as a, another player. Actually, player number seven, I should say. And oh boy, he'll knock you up, which gives you some time to shoot at airborne opponents. Or, if you're in his line of sight, oh, he will shoot at you. And holy crap, this guy can do some pretty good damage if timed correctly and hey he can even be nano boosted he can be healed he can be damage boosted but keep in mind he can also be hacked frozen any of that stuff and he can also be killed but he does have a 1200 health so yeah if you want him down you'll have you're gonna have to work together with other teammates to take him down but if you're the one that's using the bob make sure you he is summoned at the right time, especially if Ana has an has a nano boost. Oh boy, Bob can be deadly if in the right hands. In all honesty, Ash, she may have her ups and downs, but oh boy, I see myself having a lot of fun playing her, especially when I have Bob out. And that will conclude episode two of my third anniversary Overwatch special. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Next time, we conclude the third anniversary Overwatch special of all post on heroes going over my top three favorite heroes. Post-launch, that is. See you guys later.